Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new details pane in Windows 11 build 23430. This is the latest build from the dev channel and Microsoft has improved the new details pane. In this version, we have less placeholder text, an updated design and also a working properties button. So I think that is pretty good. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually enable that because of course, Microsoft is testing this behind the scenes and it is not enabled by default. If you enjoy videos, like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all you're going to have to download vive tool you're going to have the download link for vive tool in the article below in the video's description just make sure to download the latest version that zip for your system architecture in my example i'm going to download the version 0.3.3.zip you can simply open it up using file explorer click on extract all click on browse and make sure to extract it into the system 32 location in this pc local disk C windows and then just scroll down to system 32 select folder extract in my case I'm gonna have to replace the files and then click on continue so that Vive tool would be set up completely on this computer and for that open up the CMD in the search box click on run as administrator and on user account control of course click on yes here in the CMD you're gonna have to copy and paste in this command which is Vive tool slash enable slash ID and you're gonna have here two IDs these IDs were discovered by Phantom Motion 3 so make sure to follow him from the Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to learn about hidden features like these earlier than others. Of course, this command will be listed in the article below in the video's description. As always, you can just copy and paste it and then press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. After that, just make sure to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, we can open up the file explorer, click on view, show, and then select the new details pane. As you can see, we have a slightly updated design for the details pane button. And if we select something, we're going to have info. And as you can see, it has less placeholder text and it actually is starting to make sense and we also have a working properties button so this is progress of course i think this is pretty good and this goes again for folders other types of files and so on i think the new details pane is starting to look really good and what's interesting about it is that you don't need the file explorer asdk version so i think it's pretty interesting that it's working without that but of course if you are on the dev channel feel free to test this out for yourself and see how it's looking how it works for you and so on but i think this is one of the most stable and uh, good looking versions of the details pane that we've had since microsoft started working on it but of course if you somehow want to disable it you can just open up the cmd yet again click on run as administrator and in the cmd you're gonna have to copy and paste in this command which is basically the same command but with slash disable instead of slash enable and after a restart your file explorer details pane will go back to the old version so this is it don't forget that the download link for vive tool and also the commands used in this video and also so the Twitter link for Phantom Motion will be in the article below in the video's description and respectively in the pinned comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.